Okay, so uh, here we've got uh, the question where a few people have asked me about. 3e e to the x plus 4e e to the minus x equals 8. Uh, what I first of all notice is that it's got e to the x, um, and the x that we're trying to find is the power, so we're probably going to have logs involved here. Uh, second thing is that I notice there's three consecutive powers, e to the x, e to the 0x, and e to the minus x. You know, you've got decreasing powers of x. Um, what would be nice is if I could get rid of this e to the minus x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through by e to the x. So I'm going to times the whole thing by e to the x. So doing that would give me um, 3, now just e to the x times e to the x. Remember you add the powers, so that would be e to the 2x. Um, yeah. So this is going to be 3 e to the 2x plus... Here, you're going to have 4e e to the minus x times e to the x. Well, minus x plus x is e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1. So that would just be 4. And then 8 times e to the x is 8e e to the x. Okay? Now, if you... Um, if you now look at this, you've got 3e e to the 2x plus 4 equals 8e e to the x. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring everything over to one side. That'll give you 3e um, e to the 2x plus, or minus, minus, minus 8e e to the x plus 4 equals 0. Now, let's look at this e to the 2x for a minute. Uh, this e to, uh, 3e to the 2x, you've got 3e to the 2x. Now, l looking at this e to the 2x for a minute, yeah, that can be rewritten as different things. Yeah, that can be rewritten as e to the x squared, like that. The reason is, remember, if you've got a par to a par, you can times those two together. Like, so e... To the, and then you times these two together, you'd get e to the 2x if you times those two together. So this is the same as that. Okay, so you're going to rewrite that to so get 3e to the x squared minus 8e to the x plus 4 equals 0. This just looks like a quadratic now. Okay, so let y equal e to the x. So you're going to get 3y squared minus 8y plus 4 equals 0. Let's factorize this. Let's see how good I'm doing that on the spot. 3yy, uh, 2, 2 minus 2 minus 2, minus 2 minus 2. Uh, yep, that would work. So you've got... Let's look over here. So we've got um, 3y minus 2 equals 0, or, uh, so 3y equals 2, so y equals 2 thirds, and uh, remember y is e to the x, so you get e to the x equals 2 thirds, and for the other one you get y equals 2, and so e to the x equals equals 2. And uh, let me just rub this up and finish it off. Okay, so there's the question again, and there's what we got whenever we factorized it. So, and we've just worked out that y equals 2 thirds, and, um, sorry, uh, that meant that e to the x equals 2 thirds, and we find out that e to the x also equal 2. Now, I take the natural log of both sides, that's going to give you uh, x equals lin two thirds and take the natural log of this side x equals lin two okay so there's your answers x equals natural log of two thirds and x equals natural log of two